Hello everyone and welcome back to art. Today we are going to talk about an artist who I think uses color extremely well in their artworks, then create an artwork in our art notebooks just like them. Let's go learn and create! Walsley Kandinsky was born in Moscow, Russia in 1866 and died in France in 1944. Kandinsky is known for his intense use of color. He often listened to music while he painted. When Kandinsky listened to music, he saw colors, and that's what he would paint. This painting is called Composition 8. What kind of music do you think he was listening to? Fast or slow? What group of colors do you think Kandinsky used? Primary, secondary, warm, or cool? Let's take a closer look at one of Kandinsky's famous paintings. This is called Squares with Concentric Circles. It was painted in 1913. Concentric circles means the circles are sharing the same center, but are getting smaller as they get closer to the center. What groups of colors did Kandinsky use? How do you think the colors look on top of each other? Do you like the colors that Kandinsky used? What would you change about the painting? Once you have all your supplies, we're ready to start. Open your book to a blank page, and we're going to write the title, Wasley Kandinsky. So it goes W-A-S-S-I-L-Y, then K-A-N-D-I-S-K-Y, Wasley Kandinsky. We are then going to draw a grid on our paper. We need two horizontal lines, so one, two, and three vertical lines. One, two, three. So I should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve parts on my paper. We are then going to get colors. I would say about three different colors. And we are going to be drawing concentric circles in each of our squares. So I have my orange. There we go. Have a light green going around my orange. And this is a red violet. So I'm going around here. There we go. So I have my concentric circles. My circles are all sharing the same center. Now my circles aren't perfect and that's okay. That's what makes this fun. We're more focused on the colors. Now that I did one of my concentric circle colors, I'm gonna speed this part up so you can see the rest of the rest to see how it's completed. All right, you guys, let me tell you what I'm looking for in this week's assignment. You are gonna be turning in your Wasley Kandinsky page. I'm looking for three things. The title, Wasley Kandinsky. You need to have your squares and your circles, and it needs to be colored, because this is a color segment. So again, Wasley Kandinsky, that's one your squares and your circles, that's two, and it needs to be colored. That's three things. You can turn this in as a picture or as a short video.
All right, boys and girls, that's the end of my video. I had so much fun teaching you guys about Wesley Kandinsky and all the colors that he uses. I can't wait to see what your color circles look like. See you guys next time.